It wasn't until the morning of the Science, Math, and Technology Design Challenge that 200 Skyview High School students learned what they were to do. Their challenge was to design a little car of Legos that would move without being pushed. Only the momentum of a dropping weight could be used to propel the cars. About 50 teams of four students used math, physics, and teamwork to design their machines. For a full school day, they planned, built, tested, and competed. Scientists and engineers from the community served as judges. Here's some of the action. We have all the members of the SMT program who are building a car that is driven by the free fall of a 53.9 gram weight block. The whole idea is to translate what they know about simple machines, compound machines, physics, and applied mathematics into a device that can go three meters linear. I think what we, what we were looking at is, is similar to Caltech or MIT uh, with their student challenges. Um, we didn't really tell the kids uh, to bone up or, or do any extra homework, but rather we're applying what they already know from their participation for years in this program. Within the, within the packet that, that each uh, team is given, there's a judging sheet scoring rubric that is um, about half objective and half subjective. It includes um, whether or not the teams built to the standards that were given to them, and there are specific design standards, um, whether or not they applied mathematics to uh, come up with a formula or group of formulas and variables whether they named the variables and, and discussed them within the design. There are three iterations of design, the third of which will be tested competitively just before lunch, just after lunch, rather, uh, today. And um, their goal, of course, is to get uh, a car that normally sitting uh, on a horizontal surface would just sit there, not do anything. When they release the weight block, it's supposed to roll forward under its own power three meters.